Question 26. A structure given with the three chiral centers in there. And now the question asks, how many other chiral centers are present in these cortisone molecules? So it means other than these three, how many chiral centers in the molecules? So this one, first we need to know all the two-way intersection like this one, they are CH2. So this not going to have any chiral center as well as the carbon with double bond. So this one also not going to be, this one not chiral center, not chiral center. So we just uh, filter out or we just uh, eliminate all these uh, two-way intersection. So we will look at the carbon something like this let's say this carbon so this carbon is has one group two group three groups and four different groups so therefore this is one chiral center so chiral center means the carbon with four different groups and this one not going to be the chiral center this one not going to be so this one okay it has one group two groups, three groups, and four groups. So four different groups, therefore this is a chiral center. Right. So okay, already got one and two. So this one not going to be chiral center, not chiral center, not chiral center, not chiral center. So the last chiral center is this one. So this carbon, it has one group, two group, three groups, and four different groups so therefore this is another chiral center so it means other than these three existing chiral center so there are three more chiral centers there so answer is D question 27 build 2 in reacts with coal dilute acidified chemino 4 to give and the butuin reacts with hot concentrated acidified chemino 4 to give Y. So which statement about X and Y is correct? So before you uh, answer the question, so uh, you must know what is a product form. So this is the, the reaction to produce compound X, this one. So the butuin after it reacts with cold dilute acidified chemino 4, the CC double bonds will form this diode. Means the double bonds break and eventually it will get oxidized and form diode. This one. So this is the compound X. If the butuin reacts with hot concentrated acidified chemino 4 the double bonds is going to be totally break and this part and this part they are the same and this part will oxidize to COOH first if you're going to add one oxygen there and between the C and H add another oxygen, right? So therefore, it will form this carboxylic acid. So means, okay, this part, especially this carbon, it will oxidize to COOH, something like this, ethanoic acid. And this part also will undergo the same oxidation and give the same product. So means, for the butuin, after it's being oxidized by hot concentrated acidified chemino 4, it will form ethanoic acid, which is Y. Then, which statement is correct? Uh, both product X and Y will react with 2,4-DNPH. 2,4-DNPH uh, is uh, the 
testing reagent is a reagent to test the presence of aldehyde or ketone. If there is a ketone or aldehyde, then it will form the orange precipitate. So this one, product X is diol. It's not a ketone, it's not aldehyde. So X will not react with the 2,4 DNPH. The Y is the carboxylic acid, not aldehyde, not ketone. So this Y will not react with 2,4 DNPH. Therefore, A, not the answer. So means both X and Y, it will not react with 2,4 DNPH because they don't have the uh, aldehyde and ketone. So therefore, answer is B. Okay, that's all. Thank you.